Well, hello everybody. What do they say, third time's a charm? This is a circuit that I've tried several times, this being the third, with the intent to go around the whole thing. Uh, it's like the big elbow circuit, and I've never quite managed it the first time. Some of the earlier videos that I did, I was going out with my sons and we were going to do all of it, but we weren't able to. And then second time, no actual intent then to do the whole thing, but came out to Mount Romulus campground uh, with a friend to give him a taste of backcountry. Now I'm out on this trail for the third time. This time I intend to do the whole circuit. I think it's about 44K all the way around. So I'm gonna do that in three nights. One night at Mount Romulus, two at Tombstone. And yeah, that's a slightly worrying campground name, isn't it? And then out from there. There is a third campground that you can go to, but I'm not planning on that. I'm just gonna do a big long hike out. I'll show you the map a little later when we get there. So we're coming up to the sort of official start of the trail. There's a kilometer or two of walking from the parking lot where you leave your vehicle to here. Well, let me show you the route. So we're up here and I'm gonna come through here and stay there tonight. I'm going to come down here, spend two nights there, and probably take a hike up to some lakes up here. And then on the last night, I come all the way through. This is that third campground. I've stayed there before on a one night, but I'm just going to do the whole thing in one day and come out. Okay. Absolutely loving all the wildflowers starting to come into bloom now, eh? Beautiful. These bursts of red and purple. These, I, I don't know what it is, but I think these are quite possibly one of my favorites. They make me think of complete mystical, magical, elven woodlands. I'll put up a picture of one I got last year or maybe the year before. I just love that twist. What's it looks like the hair of those cartoon troll things.
All right, so we've made it to Mount Romulus Campground, our first stop on the trip. I'm going right to the hikers. If you had your horsey with you, you'd go up a little bit. But ultimately tomorrow we'll be heading towards that mountain and kind of cutting across in front of it and around to Tombstone. So that was about a two and a half, three hour walk. With a little stop for lunch. Not bad at all. Both times I've been here before, this is the uh, campsite or pad that I keep picking. <laughs> and the sole reason for it is I like the little garden path that someone decided to make. Did it work the last two nights? It'll be great for this night. Well, so far, I am the first one here. It's fairly early still, but wouldn't it be interesting if I'm on my own episode of Alone this evening? There's my new tent. First night in it will be tonight. I've set it up once before just to test it out, make sure everything was there. It'll be interesting to see if anyone else comes today. I would have thought so. Guess we'll see. All right, welcome to day two. I've packed up, it's about quarter past 10 in the morning and heading from Mount Romulus off to Tombstone. So this particular part of the trail I've never done before. Kind of cool and excited to see what I see. And I was not alone last night. About four or five other sets of camp showed up, which if I'm honest, I was kind of happy about. <laughs> All right. Onwards and upwards, and it will be onwards. This, I believe, is the most elevation portion of the trip. Uh, I think it's about 400 meters. So what's that, about 1,200 feet, give or take? That's why I got the poles out today. Well, I have no idea how far I've come, but at least the, there's a water source on the way up. Well, this is the first one I've come across. You certainly want your filter with you, I suspect. So here we've hit a fork in the trail. I could go down here and this will take me on a different trail to Tombstone Lake and then from there down to the Tombstone Creek campsite. No idea what that trail will entail. Or I carry on up the main trail, which is part of the kind of the, was it Little Elbow, Big, Big Elbow trail, which was what I was planning anyway. So I'm gonna carry on up here 
this time around because on Sunday I'm planning on going to Tombstone Lake so I'll see at least half of that trail and maybe another time I'll come back and do the whole piece of it. But, So that was about a two and a half to three hour trip from Romulus to Tombstone. A lot of uphill. There's some views, oh my word, those views. Oh, good morning folks, it's day three. And so I have decided to go up to Tombstone Lakes, uh, perhaps have a spot of lunch. It's about 10.30 right now. What a view behind, eh? And then over here, which is where we're heading, hard to see in the light, but there's mountains all the way up there. Oh, they're peeking through a little bit. <laughs> Not that it's that unusual for being in the mountains, but I hope you don't mind fairly steep drops. Hard to see on these cameras. But we'll just watch our footing. Well, that's an enchanted forest path, if ever I saw one. Coming down to the lower portion of the lakes.
So I've left the lower lake. Looks like we're about to hit the upper lake, which is not even 50 meters. If this is the upper lake. Oh, oh my goodness. Look. This is definitely a deep kind of spiritual feel it in your body and soul and heart sort of sensation. <laughs> oh my. All right, so now I'm on the uh, far side of the lake. I just bushwhacked through that greenery on the left. Don't recommend that. I'll uh, see if I can get around on this shoreline. It's a bit more rocky, so I'll take my time. Hopefully that'll be all good. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Not all that often you get to go stick your feet on snow in July. In Canada, there's plenty of opportunities, but still. Ooh. And it's actually, surprisingly, deep still. You can see the water on that. I went in at least a foot. All right, I'm going to stop filming while I uh, traverse this. So it looks like I'm going to cross, I'll try to cross those wooden, we'll call them loose little term of a bridge. And then I've got to get across that mini glacier. It may have to take my shoes and socks off and get a little wet there. That's all right. And then cross and go around. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so after a little uh, attempt, that log is very, very tippy. And I do not want to wrench or twist an ankle up here. So it's chilly toesies time. That's all right. I got my towel. We'll get them dried. We'll get over there. Okay, round two. These poles are very handy right now. Don't mind telling you, I came up here with the intent of sitting for a while, contemplating some of the things I'm contemplating. But the 
bugs are not great. Well, I was going to contemplate on a large part. My resilience. Interestingly enough, you kind of get worried that you're never going to be good enough, right? That your things won't go right and you'll run back to normalcy, I suppose. But the bushwhacking on the other side, and now this, kind of helped me realize <laughs> that there's a will, there's a way, and you just sort it out. And what I'm really liking a lot right now is that this water is not cold. Like I would have thought it was freezing. Nope. Like there's no numbness or anything in my toes, which is great. <laughs> this is taking longer than I would have thought. But there we go. Sometimes. <sighs> we just have to put ourselves in those positions, don't we? Well, thank you <laughs> for giving me this chance, I guess, to find a way through. Ooh, look at that statue thing. <laughs> Someone else has probably been this way before too, eh? Well, I'm going to sit around here, dry my feet and put my shoes back on. Because as fun as that was, I don't want to walk on these rocks anymore in bare feet. Ah. Sometimes you just never know what you're capable of until they put you there, right? And we're on the start of day three. We are leaving Tombstone and heading down the Big Elbow Trail. It will take us past the Big Elbow Campground, which I've stayed at once before, but we're not staying at this time. Heading straight to the uh, parking lot. It's about 22 kilometers from here. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be the longest I've hiked in one day with this backpack on. Uh, but I'm not in a rush, so what will be, will be. And down in the base of those three mountains, you might be able to see that sort of light green right at the back. Just in front of that is the campground, a tombstone, where we just came from. Going this way. Had you go in there, didn't I? <laughs> Probably brings to mind the fable of the boy who cried wolf.
All right. So made it roughly halfway. Big elbow kind of campground. I've stayed here one night before with Andrew on an earlier video. But I'm just going to use this today as my halfway break point. Have a spot to eat, a spot of lunch, check the water situation, cool my toesies off a bit, and then continue on for today. That was about a two hour 40 minutes from Tombstone to here. It's pretty good. Happy with that. Well, one thing that hasn't changed in the redesign is the amount of flies. Crikey. You gotta look at the first video I did here, and that was one issue we had with it, but just the amount of just flies is incessant. They were literally lining the inside of the, between the fly and the, the rain sheet, whatever, in the tent. You can kind of see it, it's grim. It's basically the same, so I didn't stay for long. Changed my shirt, changed my, shirt, my socks. We're gonna get on. Well, we're starting to say goodbye to the really high mountains. As we start to move more into the foothills sort of thing. There's still some cliff faces to come, but you can see it's starting to change scenery. Less rock, more large hills, mini mountains, not sure what that is, but fully covered in greenery. I wanted to give a big thank you to someone who's been an inspiration to me. A person who has shown me there's all sorts of things you're capable of doing, even if you think maybe you are not capable. Abby Barnes of Spend More Time in the Wild. Thank you. I've been a patron of yours now for about three and a half years. And over that time, I've seen you conquer all sorts of challenges, uh, physical, mental, all sorts. You are an inspiration. I hope you keep doing what you're doing, whether it be hiking or other things. But spend more time in the wild and what you have done with that inspired me to come and do what I've just done. So I've done a few single night backpack trips, literally go out, go in the tent, come home. This is my first multi-night. Three nights, four days out in the back country of the Canadian Rocky Mountains. No cell service the entire way, totally self-supported, all my own food and water. Uh, <laughs> it's been awesome. So thank you. And I would encourage any of you who may be watching this, if you're not a patron, be a patron. If you've not heard of Abbey Barnes and spend more time in the wild, I'll put a link down below. Go take a look well worth your time. Maybe get a spend more time in the wild, stay wild t-shirt while you're at it. All the best. Well, this is pretty much the end of the trail, folks. Once I cross that bridge, that's kind of, uh, I view it as the end of the trail. Oh, what a trip. <laughs> so glad I did it. Oh. Over the other end of this, kind of hang a left, essentially where we started. Go right, fingers crossed. Daisy the Dodge. My trusty minivan is still in the parking lot. <laughs> That'll teach me for faking you out on that ridge. I literally just tripped over a loose plank 
Ah, dearie me. Well, thanks for coming with me. I hope you saw some awesome sights. Maybe gave you the thought to try something like this for yourself. All the best in your adventures. Search for a little bit of wonder out there. It's everywhere to be found. Take care. Daisy the Dodge.